What's up, guys? Just got back from the Gwinnett Braves game versus the Toledo Mud Hens. They are the AAA affiliate of the Detroit Tigers. So, um, it's pretty awesome because it's uh, another $3 Thursday. Uh, the Gwinnett Braves have that promotion every Thursday. Just three bucks to get in. Um, and you can pretty much sit anywhere. It doesn't matter because that place never fills up. So, it's pretty awesome. Anyway, there's that. Um, I got everybody I wanted. And then some, basically, it was pretty awesome. And uh, if you've seen the background, that's the Freeman bobblehead they gave out the other night. Um, it's kind of nice. I can't really see that, but there you go. Uh, only 2,000 were given away. Uh, I'm going to start with this. I don't know why he signed right there, but this is um, Ramon Cabrera. He is on the 40-man. He's, like, just a catcher. I don't know if he's going to go anywhere or not. But anyway, he, he signed right there. I don't know why. I should have just made this like a team ball because I could have went in like I could have got like 75% of the roster because they were all signing but it's all good so I'll put that over here um, next we have Detroit Tigers number two overall prospect and probably future closer because I'm hearing this guy has a really big arm so I don't know but uh, this is Bruce uh, Rondon I think it's Bruce Rondon, something like that. I don't know how to say his last name, but this guy's is just coming up. And I don't know uh, if Detroit is going to really need him right now, uh, but maybe in about a year or so, this guy's you're going you're gonna to hear this guy's name because he supposedly has one of the biggest arms. He's definitely going to be a closer or something like that. Um, next, we have former Padres All-Star from 2001. This is Phil Nevin. Um, yeah, he's just a one-time all-star. It was pretty awesome. He's now the uh, manager of the Mud Hens. So it's pretty cool getting him. Next we have Leon Durham. Uh, Two-time all-star from, I think, 82 and 83. But um, it's a pretty good pickup. I'm, I'm really got to... Really glad I got him. He's uh, he's assistant manager for the Mud Hens. Um, he's kind of a dick though because like I mean I asked him to come sign and he's like what's my uh, what's my nickname and I, I honestly I didn't know and I literally I later found out his nickname was Bull. I don't know why I didn't know that but I mean, it's kind of being a dick and he signed the ball and he's like why can't you get like a better ball for me to sign and I was like uh, I was really about to say I don't I don't let scrubs sign officials but. I was really about to say that, but anyways, uh, anyways, guys, the reason why I buy these because these balls are cheaper. I can get a whole dozen basically for thirty eight dollars, and I don't feel like paying sixteen bucks for every single player, you know. So that's pretty much the reason. And these are really nice. I mean, I do buy officials on occasion, but these look and feel a lot like them. I mean, they're not. I know they're not the same, they're not official, but they're still pretty nice. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. However, I did get this guy on official and a regular. Got twice. Um, Detroit Tigers number one overall prospect, Nick Castellanos. Um, he's white. That's kind of a weird last name, but um, I got him twice. Once um, during pregame, he signed right there on that one. And uh, he came around and signed again for uh, some other guys, so I got him on this. And this one's a little bit dirty, but this is actually a, uh, a game used official I got at the Atlanta Braves game the other day. This is why you see some like grass stains or just stuff like that on it. But I honestly think that makes it cooler. So there's that. So got a total of six autographs, uh, two former All-Stars, uh, the top two prospects, and the other guy is like a... He's not, he's in the top 20. He's in their top 20 in the farm system. That wasn't bad either. So it's a really good night. Um, I don't know if any of this stuff will be for sale or not, but I mean, if you're a Tigers fan, let me know. I might I might let you might let some of this go. So um, I might graph them tomorrow because Brennan Beachy is supposed to make his start. So I might, but I'm not sure. Um, so I'll let you guys know on that. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching and see you later.